Hello everybody and welcome back to Surviving Mars, where we are, well, surviving Mars. Kinda. Barely. <laughs> We've got a bit of a power issue right now, to be sure. Let's go ahead and, uh, I would love to put wind turbines up. We need this ramp to be done for that. The ramp is definitely a long-term project. Let's go ahead and drop one additional solar panel. And I'm going to put that... I think over here for right now. I mean, we did store enough power research for the overnight, complete. but barely. Hey, there's another research in. So let's go ahead and uh, drones move faster. That sounds good. I like it. When we bring in more people, we're going to be dropping them at this pad and hoping they fill out this dome a little bit. It's the the theory anyway. So we've got 19 people in this dome and nobody in this dome currently. But we are 97% back to Earth. Okay. Let's uh, bring in more people. Passenger rocket. Now I believe bringing in people is free. And realistically... I think this is fine. Having some no specialization people is good. We need people working like our grocer and our diner and such. But um, also, a couple of engineers. Oh, he's vegan. Or she's vegan, even. They don't like ranches. Realistically, I actually don't like that. We're going to put them in a place with a ranch. So we should probably bring people who are not living in a ranch. Or rather, who are not vegan. Increased performance penalty when at low morale. Okay. At first I thought that was increased performance when at low morale, but no. That's not the case. Sure. You sound good. Okay. That's all the vegans out? Nope. Here's a vegan. Okay. So, who do we want... Hypochondriac? Probably not. Glutton? Probably not. Hmm. Well, this one is just sexy. That's not bad. We'll go with her. Okay, is that all the vegans? We do not want vegans in this dome. Not because of their belief, but just because they're going to be next to a ranch. Okay. Let's launch it. And yeah, bringing passengers is free. That is fantastic. So this rocket should be refueled shortly. We're probably going to want to send that to a planetary anomaly, right? Like maybe importing the greenhouse gases? Ooh, that costs money. That's probably not something we want to do. That takes an RC Explorer. It would give us research progress. Realistically, that's fine, right? Our RC Explorer isn't doing anything. Come on over. And he won't be doing anything until this ramp is built. Where is it? Okay, way up there. Yeah, sounds good. 
Okay, so our accumulators are charging. And now they are discharging. We didn't get up as high as I had hoped. Our power is going to definitely suffer a bit. So before our before our friends come in, we definitely, definitely need some power. I'm going to go ahead and drop a wind turbine here, even though we don't get the elevation boost. Like up here, it's far more efficient to drop a wind turbine with a 70% elevation boost. But we need some generation during the night. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a wind turbine here. Now they do take machine parts, but but only one. And I'm also going to drop a wind turbine over here. And hopefully that'll help our power issues with something that's able to generate power overnight. We've still got lots of concrete left in this deposit, and then we've got this deposit that we can still access, which is even better. And there's this one down here. We've got plenty of concrete. What we really need is this metals deposit. Russia is offering concrete for machine parts. I will pass on that. And yeah, this dome lost life support. That said, with these, with these wind turbines up, we should be generating ourselves an additional 10, 24 hours a day, which is going to, well, I think 23 hours a day on Mars, <laughs> but, you know, analyzed. the entire time. Okay, so we finished a research and almost finished another. Power production increased by 33%. Yes, please. Okay, so this guy's returning from the planetary anomaly. That was nice and fast. We're 80% on landscaping Sector this ramp. Scanned. Oh, more concrete up over here, huh? Okay, well, I'll take more concrete. We're not even at 1% vegetation. I like it. Well, that'll that'll go up as we get our water level and our particularly our atmosphere up from carbonate processors realistically what do we need for that so uh terraforming i don't think we have access to carbonate processors but atmosphere appears to be lost per day well per soul as opposed to all of the others so that's going to be harder to maintain for sure. Okay, this is our passenger payload. So we're going to drop this here. This is our explorer, so we'll drop that on a cargo pad. Okay. With any luck, these guys will populate this. It appears that New they are. Colonists have arrived. Hello, guys. Crop failure reported. Oh, wonderful. Just what we wanted, a crop failure. <laughs> but hey, look at this. They're now producing rare metals. Which means... That if I do that... If we had people working in this electronics factory, Research we would now be complete. producing a small amount of electronics. Is it enough? Probably not. Oh, actually, we're producing electronics, not machine parts. What do we need to produce for machine parts? Uh, machine parts factory. This goes inside the dome. Okay, that's not awkward or anything. Where do we want this? Are you producing food or seeds? You're producing food right now. Um, give me seeds. And then... We can get rid of this hydroponic farm. So we can go ahead and salvage that. And then we can put up the machine parts factory here. At least as soon as a drone gets over there. 
which we've got a drone heavy load right now. We also researched utility crops. Residences have improved comfort. Sounds good. Okay, we've almost finished our fueling over here. In retrospect, maybe I should have de de destroyed this hydroponic farm. I don't know. He's delivering fuel to our rocket. Fair enough, I guess. We're 94% on leveling this ramp. Let's go ahead and bring the RC Explorer over here. Get a lot of these crop failures. So now we only have one building not working. Oh, and we should, in theory, be able to put our machine parts factory up right here. There we go. Which we do have a prefab for. And now we should be producing everything we need. They appear to be putting exports into this rocket. The, the rare metals are going into exports, which isn't exactly what I'm looking for. Um, forbid exports to this rocket. Forbid exports to this rocket, too. We don't want to export just yet. And this rocket, well, realistically, we're at 30 right now. You know what? No, allow exports. I think that's, I think that's fine, but we're just going to send it on back. We'll get a small amount for our one <laughs> rare metal, but we'll get some. Okay, now this guy here is going to start fueling, and I want to send him to an anomaly, realistically. Hey, our ramp is finally done. Look at that. Go scan this anomaly up here, as well as this anomaly over here. And that means that we can take our RC commander over here and help out with this. Fantastic. Okay, so we've forbidden exports on this rocket. But we do need to put fuel onto it. We're going to need to have drones doing that. And realistically, the question then becomes, does this become a connection here? Or do we want to have, like, transport shuttles? I mean, we've got water down here. Right here and right here. We've got a lot of water down here, realistically. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Ooh. More rare metals. That's nice. I like that a lot. It's also anomalies over there. The RC Explorer will get to them eventually. Anomaly analyzed. Okay, what was that? New tech? There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Even the tiniest, simple-looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries which perplexed the human mind for generations. Sometimes it takes just a simple discovery to assure us of the vastness of the universe, an encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of our existence and into the future. Autonomous sensors and extractor amplification have been revealed on the research screen. Hmm. Increases production, but also increases consumption. That seems a little dangerous, but sensor, powers no or sensor towers no longer requiring power or maintenance. That sounds neat. We'll get to those, though. Okay. So realistically, we, we have, have a lot that needs shortage. to be done. Oh, we have a food shortage? What? I know what the problem here is. I think there's no grocer here. Our colonists are starving. 
Yeah, um, there's, there's no food distribution here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this hydroponic farm. And we're going to need to prioritize doing that very quickly. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, fine. Okay. Now we need to, I believe... Under life support? Dome services? Yeah. So let's go ahead and put up a small grocer here, maybe. Um, or just a regular grocer. We've got the room. Okay. I want you to prioritize constructing this. If you can. Apparently not. Please construct this. There we go. Anomaly the analyzed. The drill had hit 100 meters before it detected a spike in temperature. The data tells us it was ignited magnesium compounds. We're still waiting for confirmation, but the preliminary results are clear. There are signs of chemical burning, indicating a combustible material in contact with the probe. The dis the mechanical frill- Wow. The mechanical frilling was what I almost said there? <laughs> the mechanical drilling of- Wow. I'm, I'm really not nailing this sentence. The mechanical friction of the drilling head must have ignited the magnesium. What a great discovery! Scientists on Earth had long planned the creation of jet engines that could burn the carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere with the use of magnesium powder. With abundant amounts on site, the research teams could begin preliminary testing of a working prototype right away. Reduces the cost of robotics tech by 10%. I don't hate that. Okay, how goes this leveling? Slowly is the answer. But we desperately need to construct this grocer. We need more concrete here, guys. Make it quick. Actually, I think our colonist is no longer starving. But let's go ahead and uh, bring back this rocket. Or wait, this rocket's ready to go, actually. Do we want to send that back to Earth? This one's currently traveling to Earth. Do we want to send it out on another planetary anomaly? That would require four crew and a botanist. That would require six drones. What do we got that's nice and easy? Grants funding. It's a lot of stuff for two billion. That would grant a breakthrough. That would give just resources, but would only take an RC commander. We can send that. And then we can take our RC commander. Oh, I think our RC commander already went. Funding received. Sounds good. It just automatically popped in, I guess. Resources are low. Yeah, we're not that low on food, actually. Our power is problematic. There's no doubt about that. Okay, so we're at... We're currently at four oxygen. Um, our oxygen tanks are full, though. Realistically, maybe we want to have an oxygen tank over here, just in case. I mean, it's not like that takes power. Let's go ahead and build one. That's the reason why our oxygen production looks so low, because our demand is way below our production. Okay. Anomaly analyzed. This grocer is good to go. And we gained 33 uh, polymers. I'll take it. We also have a rocket that is back at Earth, right? 
So, do we want to bring in more people? Well, realistically, 20 out of 28, 12 out of 14. So we could bring 10 people. We've got 21 vacant work slots and 8 vacant residential slots over here. 12 vacant work slots and 2 vacant residential slots over here. So realistically speaking, maybe we need an another like residential dome? So like we'd be able to put up a basic dome, say, here. And then with that, we should be able to put up a passage theoretically, if this wasn't completely full. Like that. The other option, of course, is that we cancel this and put up a dome that is literally connected. But that doesn't appear to be an actual option. Okay, well, we can, we can go ahead and bring ten more people. That's not a problem. We'll get rid of the vegans, just in case. Just in case they decide to live next to the ranch. Everything else looks fine. We'll bring in this one. And then maybe... Another botanist? Sure. Oh, actually, no. We'll ditch the scientist for right now. Okay. So that will bring in all of the people we have housing for. And then we'll be maxed on housing. And we're going to need to consider expanding. This will be done soon enough. We're lacking power over here? Hang on. We're losing power in the day? That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. Hmm. We're losing six power right now. None of this actually became really settleable up here. This is bringing our RC commander back, though. And we can use our RC commander to set this up. Okay. Now the RC commander doesn't have any drones assigned to it. It automatically assigned all of them down over here, I believe. So let's go ahead and assign four. That has 12 and this has 10. So let's assign a fifth to this guy and a sixth. There we go. Take your six drones and come up here. We need to deal with this power situation. Okay, we're now actually generating more power, which is good. We're charging, but not for too long. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. Yeah, we just saw that. <laughs> oh my, I just noticed that I've gone way over on this episode. It's been a while since I've done that. I need to put a cut in right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue this. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.